Hey everybody, as you can see it is 7.51, Tuesday, April 17th, 2018. I am going to do what is probably going to be the final update video for the BlackBerry Preve. So let me click on this first and then I'll do some talking. We've got this message about update your Android smartphone and then if you're having verification problem errors with this update um, which I've never seen before in any updates so let me click on the download let's see does it say how big this thing is it's like a hundred and some meg I think um, 107 meg so let me do my uh, typical talking as we do the update here it's now 753 download there we go so we see the thing at the top updating. BlackBerry announced at the end of 2017 that they were not going to be doing any more updates on their, any more uh, program updates, security updates. So unless there was something serious or very critical that was very important. So as far as the Preve, they've, I guess they've given up on it. Interesting saying that they've given up on the Preve. I had a bold 9900 that I had before the Preve. Wow, are we already done? Couldn't update. Very interesting. Okay, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to... I'll try it again in a minute. Uh, I finally took my bold 9900 and tore it apart, broke it in little pieces and threw it in the trash. Probably could have sold it for some money, but totally destroyed it. Very freaky when I took it. Uh, took out the memory card that was in there. It's like 4 gig. And I, I don't know what I've got in there now, like a 20, 30 gig or something. I don't know. Amazing the times. Okay, so let's try this again. But this is going to be the last download uh, update because they're not putting them out anymore. I've read some comments. They say the ketone is a pile of... People are not happy with the ketone. Other people are. I guess it's the DTEK 50s and 60s, or maybe that's a totally different thing. Maybe there's a ketone and a DTEK 50 and 60. I don't know. I love BlackBerry. I, I really love BlackBerry, and I I'm, I'm, want to stick with it. Interesting that I was watching a neighbor. Yeah, I can't do the update. That I was watching a neighbor show me pictures on her iPhone, and as she scrolled across the pictures, I couldn't believe the speed that it, it was displaying. Just so fast. Um, no matter what, I'm going to stick with Android if I have to upgrade. My uh, bold 9900 lasted for, what, four or five years, probably four years. And when this thing starts to wear out, if I need to, I will take it apart if I have to, put a battery in there and see if I can extend it for a while. Uh, I'm not thrilled that this has got one of the slowest processors that they could have ever put in a cell phone when they put it out. And I knew that when I bought it, but I bought it anyway. And I have no regrets. Uh, I'm happy that I ended up moving from what was it what was that uh, BB it was BB 10 or BB 8 I'm, I'm happy that I ended up moving from the whatever I I totally forget now because I, I haven't used the Blackberry in so long uh, I really love the uh, software and when I went to Android it took me a few weeks to get used to it and I love it and I will stick with Android I will never support Apple or the iPhone so it looks like I'm not even gonna be able to do a video with the update um, experiencing verification problem errors with this update from the web browser please visit this article um, very odd about this is that I got this message saying do the update and I didn't do it I cleared all my messages and this thing disappeared for a couple days and I was going to do the update in the video again I accidentally clicked on it and <coughs> oh, sorry um, it's really dry out here in Los Angeles really bad dry windy weather so uh, I went to do the update again, and, and I lost this thing. So today, or yesterday, it came up, and I made sure to not delete it. And now that I'm trying to do the install, it won't even let me do the install. So I just wanted to thank everybody that's watched all my videos over the last couple of years. Um, some people donated to my channel. I appreciate that. Some people uh, left some money so I could get a new video camera. And hey, that's totally awesome. I do appreciate that, too. And uh, the comments and the support, it's all been really nice. Um, and it means a lot to me. And verification problem, interesting. So I do have that. 
Experiencing verification problem error with the update from your browser, please visit this article for information about resolving it. This update contains helpful improvements. Download now to make your Android. Okay, updating is free. So I'm going to go in here and read about this uh, OTA fix. Are you kidding? I can't even click on the link. It's, they didn't make it a link? Oh, my God. All right, give me a few minutes. I'm going to come back. Absolutely ridiculous. But let me read what you need to do, and then I'm going to do it. The workaround is you have to uninstall Google Play services. Go to Settings, then select Apps, then select Google Play services. Select the right top menu, three dots in the upper right hand corner. Select Uninstall Updates. Note, if you receive the error, can't uninstall because this package is an active device administrator, Follow the following steps. Select the Manage Device Administrators. If the Manage Device Administrators does not appear, complete the following. Go to Settings, Select Security, Select Device Administrators. Number two, deselect Android Device Manager or Find My Device. Note, it may be required to deselect other consumer applications until Google Play Services update can be uninstalled. Absolutely ridiculous. Select Deactivate. Four, select the right top menu, the three dots, on the Google Play Services screen. Five, select Uninstall Updates. All of that was if you get the can't uninstall because the package is an active device administrator. Now we're going back to the uninstall updates for Google Play services. Six, check for updates following these steps here. Oh my God. Let me click on this. Um, do one of the following to update your device. Software, when a notification appears, swipe down from the top of the screen using one finger. On the system update notification, tap install. Or to update your device software manually, swipe down from the top of the screen once using two fingers or twice using one finger. Tap the wheel, the wagon wheel, about phone, system updates, check for update. If an update is available, tap restart and an install. Let's go back to where I was a second ago. All right, so that's how you do the update. After the update is complete, the notification tray will notify to update Google Play services. Select one of the, these following notifications. Select Update on Google Play services. 10, go to Settings. 11, select Security. 12, select Device Administrators. 13, select Android Device Manager or Find My Device. Note if other consumer applications were deactivated following the same steps. Follow the same steps to activate. Select Activate. Unbelievable. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. I hope I don't screw my phone up. Um, but I'm going to be doing this, so let's do this together. Go to Settings. Let's see. Go to Settings, which is the wagon wheel. Select Apps. This is so totally bogus. Select Google Play Services. Maybe I better put on some other glasses so I can see what I'm doing and not mess this up. Google Play Services. I'll try to zoom this in a little better. I think that should come out. If Google Play, there it is. Select Google Play Services. This is so ridiculous. Select the right top menu with the three dots. Uninstall updates. All update. Oh my God, are you kidding? All updates to the system will Apple. Oh, just to the system app will be installed. Do you want to replace the app? Select select uninstall updates. Yikes. Um, if you received it. This is ridiculous because it says, do you want to replace this app with the factory version? It doesn't even say that. All it says is select uninstall updates. If you can't f uninstall this package, um, 
deselect Android, select man, hold on a minute, oh boy. I guess I'm going to have to, because if you do cancel, then it's not going to let you do anything, right? Okay, so you have to install it, uninstall updates, okay. Do you want to replace this app? You have to go with the factory version. Can't uninstall because this package is Active Device Administrator. That's what they were talking about. Unbelievable. Select Manage Device Administrator. Um, deselect Android Device Manager. Wait, 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 wait. Deselect Android Advice Manager or Find My Device. Oh, this is bogus. What are they going to do to me? Um, select this administrate. I guess I'm going to have to do it. Deactivate. Select the right top three dots. And then do uninstall updates. All updates on the system. Holy crap. Yikes. Uh, hopefully this is going to help somebody. I, I don't know if I'm totally hosing my phone or not. Um, uninstall finished. Okay, select uninstall. And now, we're going to go update Google Play services. It just popped up here. This is a beautiful thing. What is this doing? Oh, I didn't even do anything. Yes. Update. All right, so uh, only 42 megs, not too bad. Everyone's probably going to run into this. After this update is complete, the notification tray will notify the you that about Google Play services. Um, select one of these notifications. Select update on Google Play services. Go to settings. Unbelievable. I, I'm confused now. Okay. After the update is complete, the notification tray will notify you to update Google Play services. Select one of these notifications. Okay, wow, look at all of this. Okay, so it's play, support libraries, uh, messages won't run unless you update Google Play services. Uh, photos won't run unless you update Google Play services. Google Text to Speech won't run unless you do that, so we're updating Google Play services. As we can see. Um, installing support libraries. I hope I'm not hosing my phone, um, but at this point, I didn't back anything up. Maybe I should have. I didn't back anything up. Um, what are some updates? Uh, still working out? Put on a few more pounds uh, that I had lost. I walked the dog about seven, eight times a day. Uh, not able to do the bike riding right now because my life is just uh, mostly taking care of the dog. Lots of training. Uh, I took her to the... Uh, I've taken her to the rescue place many times. And they're amazed at how calm she is and how well trained she is now. When she went there, she was a real problem dog. And they didn't think anybody would take her just because of her, her personality. She's very stubborn and she was scared. She was abused before they got her. And um, I spent a lot of time with her. Well, I spent a lot of time with her. I live with her. And she's really awesome. So a lot of training, a lot of patience. Sometimes frustration. Sometimes I get angry with her because she doesn't listen to me. But we do a lot of training and we just work things out. And I love her and she loves me and we have a good time. And her life is really good. She eats top of the line food gets tons of toys, has like nine beds here, goes for drives all the time. Uh, we just have a good time. Update, play services, you, 
YouTube won't run unless you update. Uh, let's click on this to keep this. Oh boy, what did I just mess up on? So it's still installing. Um, just things are really good. Anybody out there that doesn't have a dog, I grew up with a dog. I had a couple dogs completely. I, I'm, now that I'm looking at the pictures of them when I was younger, and I'm just surprised at the pictures. I'm, I guess it's going back in time and looking at that, but it's just really weird to, uh, to see the size because I thought that they were smaller, but they're bigger. And just going back and looking at that part of my life, and now having this uh, little dog over here, it's awesome. Um, it's really changed everything. It's changed my life schedule. I wake up much earlier now because of her, because she wants to go for the walks and she jumps on the bed and wants to uh, lie down by my feet until I get up and take her out. And when she's hungry, she lets me know. When she wants to play, she lets me know. When she wants attention, she lets me know. When she wants a belly rub, she lets me know. So it's a good thing. It's a real good thing. And not only that, but uh, it's good for my mom. My mom always wanted a dog and I'd bring the dog over there and she visits the visits all the time and a lot of times I'll just leave the dog over there for an hour and I'll go down to the store and do some food shopping. Let me tap this to keep this thing going. Um, so it was a major life change when I got her and I really wasn't sure. I couldn't believe that I got her. Like what did I just do? What did I get myself into? And then I looked at her and I thought, you know, she's awesome. This is a good thing and we'll work it out. We'll get through it. It's a new phase of life. It's a new experience. So, uh, and now she's just part of my everyday life and routine. And I don't leave her alone that much. Um, there are going to be times when I'm going to have to. I know that. But for now, we're doing good. Um, messages won't run. Okay, I don't really know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Let me let me clear all, because these were all update services. Your and let's go here and see if I need to do. Let's see if I can do the update here right now. Can I do this update? Waiting to download. This is what the original video was about, and my guess is it's not going to do it. But we'll see. If it doesn't do it, then what I'll do is I'll reboot. Oh boy, I'll reboot and we'll see. It says download and it hasn't stopped before it stopped, so I don't know. That's the one thing, they don't really have a, a bar on here to tell you if it's downloading or not. It just says verifying. Okay, hey, we're doing good. Download and verified, restart and install. Hopefully this video has helped anybody that's going to have to deal with this nightmare. Okay, so I'm going to click on restart and install, and then we'll see what happens and if it needs me to install more stuff. All right. Don't cancel the update available. Download very... Preparing to update. Okay. This is a good thing. 52, 02, 12. So we're at 21 minutes. Um... I don't know, I, I always said during the videos, I always said, okay, so we're going to go through and it's going to check out module 1 through 43, then 41, then 40. Okay, so this was a quick reboot. Um, so we'll see what it does for the install, because I had to install the Google Play services. It might take a while to do its uh, full reboot. So as far as a dog, anybody out there who's listening, who doesn't have a dog, you should totally think about doing it. It, it. it is a life change. With my dog, it's a big life change. Other dogs, you can get these little uh, chihuahuas, and you can just go anywhere you need to and leave them at home, and they'll be fine. They should be fine. But my dog has some separation anxiety problems, and she is around me all day long. So if I walk outside to put out the trash, she's fine. If I walk out and she knows I'm leaving for 10 minutes, she will be crying her eyes out. And then she calms down. So I'm still trying to dog-proof the place so when I leave, she can't get herself hurt or in trouble. Chewing on ties she shouldn't be chewing on or pulling the eyes out of the stuffed animals or just some other stuff. So uh, I don't know. It's been fun doing the videos for everybody. I don't know how many people listen to them or watch them. Um or subscribe to my channel, but 
it's been a lot of fun. I love YouTube. Uh, if you don't have a channel on YouTube, that's another thing besides a dog. If you don't have a channel on YouTube and you set one up and you do what I do, it just becomes, it's almost like a second job, but it's a fun thing. And I love doing the videos. I, I've got a list of videos I still need to finish and videos that uh, I'm working on right now. And it takes lots of time to do the videos. You do the recording. Obviously, I don't think up a script because I just ramble on and on and on like I'm doing now. But you do the recording and then you do your uploading to the computer. Some people who do it on a cell phone, you can tell it's a cell phone video and that's not me. Upload it to the computer. PC, Android and PC, no Apple for me. Upload it, go in the editor, do the editing, and then do the rendering, and then upload it to the tube, and then wait for it to get up there, and then you gotta go in there and do the settings, and the comments, and the description, and the tags, and a simple video could end up taking you an hour to do. But, what else are you going to do unless you're so swamped in life? Most of the time in our lives, we just waste it all watching TV and playing games and doing nothing, sitting on the sofa. So as far as piano, I started my piano. I've kind of slacked off on it, especially since I got the dog. But I was messing with it again last night and over the weekend. Got that clarinet uh, fixed up. I think I did a video on it. I'm not sure. And I played it in high school. Haven't played it since. Spent a ton of money to get it fixed up and uh, rebuilt. And it's been sitting in the box ever since. Kind of hard to play a clarinet indoors where I live. And I just haven't done it. Hopefully I will get back to it. But I don't know. And guitar. I'm still playing guitar. Uh, if you're interested in guitar... I'm not a good guitar player. I started about five, six years ago, and I love it. I just love laying down on the sofa and playing. Sitting on the sofa, start doing some strumming or plucking or finger picking, and the dog looks at me and either curls up next to my leg or goes in a bed and stares at me and falls asleep, just drifts off to sleep. So it turned out... <clears throat> sorry, oh, I'm losing my voice here. On the last video, so it turned out to be a good thing. Uh, not only do I love playing the guitar, and messing with it and practicing, and I don't care if I'm good, I don't care if I'm, it'd be nice if I was good, I wish I was better, but I don't knock myself saying I'm getting nowhere, so it's just uh, something I enjoy, and I don't beat myself up like a lot of people saying, oh, I can't get the fingering, it hurts my fingers, like the strings are bad, I just, I play because I like to, and the dog loves it, so it makes it even better for me now, so I guess that's uh, it as far as the rambling, this update that I'm putting in here right now that was 107 meg there is no info on it at all no info they didn't release anything they didn't say if uh well obviously it's it's affecting some stuff but it's got to be something pretty critical where they would not even be messing with it but it is also probably just something that is one problem there one major problem they're fixing that they thought it was important enough to get in there and handle it. Uh, so, no info on what it's doing. Some of the stuff I read, it says it's not really affecting any of the modules. It's not changing anything. All right, so we're finally getting back here. We've been doing this since 5202... 5202... 12... 22, 18, 19, 20. So we've been doing this for 27 minutes. 27, I think the battery is on like 52, 53%, 51%, I don't know. Um, I wasn't expecting the video to be this long, but I didn't think I was going to have to uninstall Google services. It's going to be interesting. I'll get this thing started up again, and then I'll do an update check and see if I have to do more updates that it doesn't have now. So, uh, but there you see it. I don't really know what Google services was, but it makes sense. Google services... Obviously, YouTube and some other stuff. So let me cut this off for a second with my hand as I do the password and checking starting Android. Um, so this took about half an hour to do. Not too bad. Da 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 da. Um. 
So, I'm probably going to be shutting this video off in a minute. If you want to leave some comments, that would be cool. Unlike most channels, I moderate my comments. I, YouTube is like the Wild West. Lots of people get on there and think they can insult you or leave rude comments or fight with you or fight with anybody. So, I usually just block them or I report them and let YouTube deal with deleting their account. So, if you have any nice comments to leave or just comments in general, that would be cool. Probably going to want me to put in my password again. And if not, if you want to do a thumbs up, that's fine. If you don't like my video and you want to do a thumbs down, that's up to you also. Oh, interesting how it's going with the loading now. I've never seen that before. Loading in the top. Looking at the desktop, do I see anything different? I guess it's not a desktop. It's a screen when you're on a cell phone. Oops. All right, so we've got the time. Started at 52. We're now down to uh, 821 instead of 752. It was at, it's at 46, uh, 4, so we use 7%. Looks like 7% of the uh, battery power. And let me check one last thing. That is weird. I've got all these updates that things won't run. And I've got some weird stuff up here that I don't really understand. All right, what did it say as far as doing the updates? Check for the updates. Let's check this one more time, see how they want me to check. To update your device, go down, swipe down to the top. So you're going to swipe down, look at all these, so obviously it's waiting for update play services. Um, we're going to go here, we're going to swipe all the way to about phone, update patch level October 5th, 2017, and what are we going to do now? System updates, why don't I see system updates? That doesn't make sense. Tap about phone system updates. System updates. Your system is up to date. Check for updates. I think I'm getting a whole bunch of, still I'm getting all these messages up here at once, Google services. So, um, let me come back and finish off the video in a minute. Let me see if I really need to do anything or if Google services is really updated. Here we go. Scroll down, update play services. I'm getting all these messages. It says my system is up to date, but it's not up to date. So I got over, I went over there, update Google play services and which I, it should have done before when I did this whole update. I did the update and I guess I deleted, I did the update of maybe just the, uh, that update patch, and it didn't update Google Play services. So we're going to put in the newest, the latest, which is probably just the current Google Play services. There's no reason that it shouldn't be saying uh, that the system's up to date when it's not up to date, because Google Play services was not up to date. So we're downloading that, and hopefully I will get rid of all these little messages, all these boxes at the top you can see all these boxes your system is up to date man am i screwed oh boy um now okay see what it's just messing with me because it wasn't up to date updating play services there it is i had to do the manual install of the uh google Play services, it shows one app updated. Now I'm going to clear this. No notifications. I'm not getting any errors that anything's wrong, so obviously things should be okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more. Not that it's going to matter at this point because it didn't work before. We'll go to the about. 
And then now I know our system updates this. I'll click on updates, and it's probably going to say like it did before that there are no updates. But I'll check again. And But unlike before where I was getting all those error messages up at the top that apps weren't working that were related to Google, I'm not getting those now. So I think uh, this is the update. So this is how you do the update. And this is how you do the update if you get a verification error. And I don't really think that we're going to be seeing too many more updates coming out of the BlackBerry people for this preve. I think this is just how it's going to be until our phones fall apart. Leave comments if you want to on what are your opinions. Uh, what do you think of the the DTAC 50 or 60 or the, I think it's Ketone or I don't know. What do you think of the Blackberries that are coming out now? Are they good? Are they good, uh, good speed? Good processors? Um, are there better Androids than the Blackberry? I, I stuck with Blackberry because of the work I was in and I needed the high level of security on the phone and so that's what I've been using ever since. So I like the I like with BlackBerry, they did regular updates now that they've gone to a new company, uh, third-party vendors. I don't know if they're going to do the regular updates. I know the other phone companies, they don't seem to do the updates. Not only do they, uh, I know it has something to do with the phone company, but I bought straight from Black, directly from BlackBerry, and I get my updates all the time. And I still get my updates for the apps constantly. So what do you think of the BlackBerry? Leave comments. Let everybody else know, uh, not just me. What do you think of the new Blackberries? Is BlackBerry the way to go? Should we stick with BlackBerry? Should we be going to other companies besides that? And how come, why, and what is the price difference? All right, people. Again, thanks for supporting my channel, doing the thumbs up, the subscribe, the likes. Anything you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will do it. If you want to leave a donation to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. And thank you for watching. Good luck with your phone. Oop, it's off, and so am I. For those that care, we started at 7.52, 8.42, so it was 50 minutes to do all of that. I have 38% power, 48, so used about 14, 15% of the battery, um, and 50 minutes to do the whole thing. I'm not getting any messages up at the top. No notifications. So uh, it installed Google services and it did the update. There you go. Boop. And that is the rescue dog that I was talking about in the video, sleeping in her bed. Hey, you. Look at the camera. Say hi to everybody. All right. This will make her look because that's where we're going to go in a minute. You want to go for a walk? Walk. That's it. Look at that beautiful face. I love you. Aw, we'll go for a walk. Come on. Settings. About. What do we have? Android 6.0.1. Update. The patch is October 5th, 2017. That's kind of weird that they didn't upgrade it or update it to April. Very odd. Very odd. Um, the kernel, okay, so the, the kernel is March 2nd of 2018. So that's what they did. They changed the kernel. And the build is Adam Adam William 068. So it wasn't a patch. It was a kernel update. March 2nd. I guess I got this, uh, well, like I said, it kept on showing up on my phone and then disappearing. So, uh, good luck with your install. If you have any questions, let me know, but you should be able to do it with watching my video.